hello everyone in this tutorial i will show you how to do the phase noise analysis of an oscillator or a vco uh, i'm using the same setup which i use for the pss or the peak stability or uh, stability or transient analysis so uh, now i'll move to the master view to set the peak noise analysis here so i'll just go here and click add analysis uh, remember whenever you want to do for example PSC or P stability or P rent noise, PXF or PSP analysis or some you need to define the PSS analysis first because uh, as you can see it's taking when the moment you, you select any PSC, P stability or P noise it takes by default this uh, beat frequency here from the PSS analysis okay now uh, the sweep type here I will select it uh, as a relative uh, because um, it allows the uh, this relative harmonic it allows uh, frequency multipliers or dividers uh, on the output of the oscillator to be included in the phase noise calculation so i'll just add it one here and then this stop and uh, st stop start and stop frequency i'll give let's say one milli to here the stop time is this stop frequency should be less than half of the oscillation frequency okay so if you remember my frequencies are on 103.1 megahertz so i will take it around uh, 25 megahertz okay or even i can take it 2 megahertz also let's take it 2 megahertz in the sweep type i will keep it as it is here and uh, now here in this case side bands i'll take it full spectrum but the moment you take full spectrum it will uh, switch your uh, simulator tool from spectre to the aps so if you are not having the aps licensing uh, it might give you error that you don't have the licensing okay so rest everything as it is and here at the output i will take the voltage here and then uh, go here policy mode output i'll select the output net here and then uh, the negative output if it's not differential then i will take the ground and uh, here the noise type i keep it as, as time average and uh, here now if you want to know the uh, phase noise and the jitter also so I will select here all, I will select all of them, that's it. So this is a setup for the P noise analysis, I will just press OK here and now I will uh, just simulate it and we will see the results. Meanwhile when the um, simulation is going on, just a small uh, definition of phase noise, what phase noise is, it's the signal uncertain entity uh, or we can say noise which is expressed in phase domain and if you know the jitter it's same as uh, jitter there is no difference between uh, phase noise or jitter the only thing is that jitter is in time domain and phase noise is in frequency domain and uh, uh, the phase noise is expressed in a decibel per carrier which is dbc it depends on the circuit actually uh, which which circuit it is then you can define the relation between the jitter and phase noise so now let's go to tools here tools uh, dive plot main form and here I see this P noise here. Okay, so there are different options USB, LSB, AM, PM. So I'll go for PM say for the phase noise. And here there is this output noise. We'll talk about the jitter in the next uh, coming tutorial. So you can select the GIS or phase noise here, or you can see the output noise also here or in the result option. So let's see the phase noise here for now. I will plot it. And uh, okay, you can see here. Uh, this is the phase noise plot. Okay. At relative harmonic plot one. But now, if I want to see the uh, output noise at a specific uh, frequency, so what I'm going to do is here is I'm going to take this output noise and uh, define it as a dBc per hertz, which is phase noise. And for example, I want to make it at one megahertz, but it's at two one megahertz or 0.5 megahertz. And I will select the DSB here and uh, I will also add it to outputs. So plot. You can see here this is the phase noise response here. And uh, if I just close it and I will also close this also here and I will go here. Uh, just I will uh, simulate it again. So to show you the phase noise at uh, 500 kilohertz, which we are interested to measure. Okay, I think, uh, yeah, 
Okay, so this is the, you can see here, this is the phase noise, se minus 77 dB per hertz, and this is the phase noise response here, okay. And uh, just uh, a bit, uh, uh, if you want to analyze this phase noise in case of the oscillator, so I'm just showing you here a picture here. So these are the different stages that we can understand from this curve, uh, which part of the circuit is contributing to which part of the noise here. So this uh, 0 dB per decade, this noise is mostly the thermal noise, uh, which is uh, coming from uh, the buffers mostly, and it, it constitutes the noise floor, okay? And uh, the second region, which is this minus 20 dB per decade, it comes from the, um, again, the thermal noise, but mostly from the oscillator core. And then you have this third option here, which is the flicker noise, minus 30 dB per decade. So this is how you can, uh, if you want to also analyze the phase noise for uh, an oscillator, in, especially in case of PLL where you have the buffer and all this stuff visiting. So you can do the phase noise analysis uh, from this uh, curve also. Uh, now let's go back to our uh, results here. I want to show you also something uh, which could help you to uh, investigate the phase noise analysis for your VCO. So I'll go here print. And then the noise summary here, it's very similar to the noise analysis which we were doing earlier. So we have options here. This first is the phase noise in here. Uh, like there are different options which you can select. Phase noise PM is also there. And uh, yeah, so the spot noise is if you want at certain frequency, let's say I take it 500k and the integrated noise or the range. And then you define the, the devices which you have here, the models. And if you want to exclude or include some instance, you can define also the uh, truncate option here. It is, for example, if you would like to you not know, display the, um, the top three or four transistors or top five devices which are contributing towards phase noise more. So you can define it like this here. So it's like if you, can, you want to define some threshold also, you can do it also there. But let's keep it number here for now. And I will keep it 10. Okay, or let's say eight. So it will it will here display the top eight devices which are contributing towards the overall phase noise of my uh, oscillator. And uh, I press just okay here. So you can see here. So these are the all the noises like uh, you know, which are coming from devices like NM8, uh, NM8. This is from the I11, I12, I10. All the devices which are contributing the noise. And also at the 500 kilohertz, you can see this is the phase noise. This is how you do the uh, phase noise analysis for an oscillator. And uh, in the next uh, tutorial, I will show you how to do the jitter analysis uh, for the same uh, circuit. Thank you.